So you came to the UK when you were eight, weren't you? Yeah, when I was eight years old. Okay, and so did you speak any English before you came? Uh, yeah, uh, two words. Uh, yes, fine. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so that must it be worked for a while. quite an experience, though, to come yeah. from the Congo and you came to Fulham, I think. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so we moved to South London first, right, right for a bit, and then God said, no, not for you. West yeah. London. <laughs> yeah. um, so I ended up in Fulham. But the yes and fine got me to some spaces, you know, going to the barbers, asking me what hair, because I remember my first, the first barber that um, I came across, he was Caribbean, and I love my Caribbean people, but I couldn't understand the word. You know, I can't understand straight English, let alone. Yeah. All I remember him saying to me, why would the world out right now? <laughs> <laughs> I was under pressure, Jonathan. Yeah. I said, yes, fine. <laughs> <laughs> The yeah, haircut I got, my mum wanted a refund. Yeah. <laughs> he came home with that haircut. Well, he was this like, is it? This <laughs> is it? He said, I'm allergic to haircuts, as you can see. <laughs> but I can imagine, Mr. Because what about when you first came from Canada? Did you struggle at all with English idiom? Well, I dated a lot of ice hockey players, and they have a language of their own. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I was known as a puck bunny growing up, <laughs> which is like a wag, but for hockey. Wow. And they talk all about like uh, your flow is your hair, your lettuce is hair. Noel, you would be known for having quite great flow. Um, a grocery <laughs> stick is a type of player who's not good. A bender is a player who's not good because their ankles bend in and their skates. Wow. And they'd just be like hockey hosers, eh? Like they talk like this. I have a two four on the weekend. They were not bright, but <laughs> dead sexy. <laughs> and did, when you went to America to work, did yeah. people struggle to understand you? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, but it's fine. I, the day I left the set on uh, Departed, and I said to Marty, he was standing there, fine, Marty, I'm going there. He said, where are you going? Just when I started to understand what she was talking about. <laughs> I have Irish parents, so I always understood the accent. As soon as I came here, I understood every regional accent. It was fine, but my husband, came over and didn't understand what anybody was saying ever. And he, I'd take him on tour with me, he'd be like, wow, what country is he from? I'd be like, Leeds, what is wrong with you? <laughs> and he still can't even say his own name. He yeah. introduced himself and goes, hello, my name is Bobby. And everyone calls him Barbie since the movie. <laughs> but I remember the first time I was in New York and um, I was doing some shopping, I got to the cashier and I'm just asking her certain things. And she kept saying to me, oh my God, can you say it again? I thought she couldn't understand what I was saying, so I repeated myself. She yeah. said, oh, my God, you got to say it again. <laughs> and she, she, like, went on and called, like, three of her friends. Yeah. They turned up, she goes, you've got, you got to hear this. We, and I said it again. She goes, oh, my God, you sound like a black Harry Potter. What? <laughs> do, do, do you know what annoyed me? Of all the Brits, there's Idris Elba, David Beckham, yeah, yeah. Jonathan Ross, <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs>